give him adoration. Father, we lift you high. We bless your holy name because there is none like you. Go ahead and, and thank the Lord. Thank him for the victory he has given to us. Thank him for the victory he's given to us. That's why you are here this morning. That's why you are here to praise him. That's why you are here to adore him. It's by the grace of God and by the mercies of God we are here this morning. Father, we love you. Father, we glorify your name. You are higher than the highest. You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. There is none like you, oh God. Oh.
It is 
Worship him. You are the Lord. El lebo sata kaya da basanda ya. El lebo sayila basanda ya. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We worship you. El lebo sayila ba 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 ba. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. The one that has had the victory of the horse. We believe he has handed victory unto us. If we believe we operate in the place of victory, let's just worship him. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him all the glory. Oh, Lebo Shanda Yaba Katayadaba. Lebo Sanda Yaba. Mali Kete Kete Ledebo. Radaba Sanda Yaba. Father, we worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshiped. Brethren, this is our month of victory. God has handed victory unto us. No wonder this is the month of resurrection. And even Pastor Jagede last week made us realize that we are operating in the place of victory. Not that we are fighting to have victory. It has been handed unto us. If we believe this, and we believe he has handed victory to us. And that we will begin to operate in this victory. Let's just go ahead and just worship him. In two minutes, just worship him. Let's bless his holy name for what he will do in our lives today. For what he will begin to do. Let's leave for the grace, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. We have worship. Brethren, we, we're going to do something. We're going to do it differently today. Today, we're going to offer God sacrifice. We're going to let him know. You, you know, in the kingdom of God, it's always a give and take. He has handed the victory unto us, but there's, uh, there are many out there that they haven't experienced victory before. They're still struggling. I would want us to intercede for them today. Let us give him our offering. In, in, in 1 Kings 17, 9, God told Elijah, I said, Arise, get thee, go to Zarephath. I have commanded a widow there to sustain thee. If God commands someone, that means, the, you know, God has told the woman there that he has to take care of Elijah. He has to do it. The woman had nothing, but the little that she had, she offered. She, she, she believed God and she ob obeyed. This morning, if we if, if sacrifice, let us pray for others. That's what we're going to do today. We can even see that in, in Luke 22. The Bible says, Jesus said, But I have prayed especially for Peter, that your faith and you, once you have turned back again to me, strengthen and support your brethren, your brothers. This morning, we're going to pray that Father, for as many that, has been, uh, uh, that, that they have not experienced victory before, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them begin to operate in victory. Let them begin to be in the place of victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Do the Holy Ghost, O Lord. Father, let them begin to experience victory. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' one mighty name, we are praying. One more. Peter was jailed. He was in, he was, he was in prison. He was in the prison. And the church cried. And God delivered him. This morning, I want us to cry for as many ministers out there, for as many that have turned their backs from, from, from the Most High, that Father, today you will bring them back in the name of Jesus. They will begin to experience victory in the name of Jesus. Lebo Satakata Yadaba. In Lebo Satakata Yadaba Kata Yadaba. In the name of Jesus. Kende Lebo Satayadaba. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is our month of victory, O Lord. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, for as many, oh Lord, that are out there that they have never experienced victory. Father, Lord, let them begin to operate in victory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Quickly, we're going to look at 2 Corinthians 12, 7 to 9. That will be our own prayer point. We've prayed for others, and I believe as, as we have done, God will, you know, let us begin let us operate more in victory in the name of jesus second corinthians 12 7 to 9 i want us to uh, uh, we'll be looking at second corinthians 7 second corinthians 12 7 second corinthians 12 7 i want us to pray this prayer point like we mean it this morning second corinthians amplified version if we can get that second corinthians 12 7 second corinthians 12 7 i want us to look at it together and to keep me from being puffed up and too much elated by the exceeding greatness of this revelation that there was given a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to rack and buffet and harass me, to keep me from being ex excessively exalted. Brethren, I don't care who we are. I don't care who you are. You could be a general overseer. You could be anybody in, in, in the kingdom of God. The devil doesn't like you. The devil is out there to stop you. The devil is out there to, to hinder you. The devil is out there to have dominion over you. And if we are not careful, I pray that we, we won't fall to that in the name of Jesus. So this morning, I want us to pray that, Father of, of all spirits, deliver me from every messenger of evil that has, that has assigned to dominate me, that has assigned to oppress me, to hinder me, my ministry, my life, my family, my home, in the name of Jesus, that has been assigned to hinder my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is our month of victory, O Lord. Father, this is the reason why you died and you resurrected, O Lord. Father, Father, let us begin to operate in victory like never before in the name of Jesus. No evil messenger will hinder us anymore. In the name of Jesus, we are delivered, O Lord. We are delivered, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we worship you. Father, Lord, we bless you. Father, we thank you for your church, O Lord. We thank you for what you have done thus far. We thank you for what you are doing, O Lord. We thank you for, for the greatness, for your loving kindnesses, O Lord, over this church, O Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the service today. We bless your holy name. Thank you because we are already in the place of victory. Blessed be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. How are we today? Why are we quiet? Because uh, of the rain? Come on, wake up. You're in the presence of God. You're on the victorious side. You are the more than conquerors. You are the winners, right? Let's make some noise. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. So we're going to go into our Bible reading for this morning. And we have two Bible readings. The first is from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. We're reading verses 14 through 28. The book of Daniel, chapter 3, from verses 14 through 28. I read. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods? nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dosilma, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should hit the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw this man, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. So shall our testimonies be in Jesus' name. Our second reading is the book of Philemon, the New Testament. Philemon has just one chapter, and we're reading from verses 5 through 11. Philemon 5 through 11. Hearing of thy love and faith, which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ. For we have great joy and consolation in thy love, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. Wherefore, though I might be much bold in Christ to enjoin thee that which is convenient, yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee, being such an one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Christ, I beseech thee for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his holy word in Jesus' name. Let's now listen to the announcements for the week. 
The Elders Fellowship Zoom meeting for the month of April comes up today at 2 p.m. So please look out on your uh, Elders Fellowship platform for the Zoom link. Our three days fasting and prayer for the month of May starts on Saturday, May 1st, and ends on Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Teleconference prayer meeting we hold from 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. daily during the fasting period. Please call 701-920 to join the prayer line. And the Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. So next Sunday, May 2nd, 2021, is our Thanksgiving <coughs> excuse me, Sunday for the month of May. Please come with your dancing shoes and hearts full of gratitude. The tw oh, this one I have to say especially. The Good Women 20... 21 week hallelujah sisters of the house hallelujah you almost gonna be awesome right praise the lord and our theme this year is abide in the vine taken from the book of john chapter 15 so our week is coming up from may i'll say from may 3 on 3rd may from 8 30 p.m to 9 30 p.m we have a special prayer meeting for our families and our mother in the Lord, our senior pastor, will be on the platform to bless us and bless our marriages. Amen. Anybody needs prayer for their family? Let me meet you on that platform. Praise the Lord. On May 4th, virtual Bible study. Please log on. This year is special. It's different. There's even, you know, gown parade. No, let me not give it all up. Make sure you log on. 7.30 p.m. May 4th. On May 8th, We'll be here to do evangelism around the community. We're going to go out, invite our neighbors, you know, spread the word, share Jesus Christ to our neighbors. So please, 9 a.m., uh, May 8th, we should come here. And following that will be our breakfast prayer meeting, which we serve brunch at the end of it. And of course, the final day, the special day, our Thanksgiving Sunday. What day is that? Aha, May 9th, Mother's Day. A good man here said Mother's Day, so he knows, he understands. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, they understand, they know. They will, you know, let me not let out all they are also preparing for us because they appreciate us. They love us. We thank you, MOV. God bless you. They love us. They treat us so special. God bless you. So let's be here Mother's Day, 9.30 a.m. to rejoice. It's so special this year because last year we could not come. But this year the Lord brought us through. He brought us for the true Thanksgiving service that the women are coming to do on May 9th. Please come. Register online. The platform is open for registration. And make sure you bought your blouses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. New workers in training class will commence in the month of May. Intending students should pick up registration forms from Minister Lawrence Ojewumi or the ushers and return them after completion. Also, the School of Disciples 2021-2022 session will commence on July 1, 2021 through April 30, 2022. Interested workers should pick up registration forms from the ushers and return them after completion. For further information, please see Pastor Julius Adeleke or reach him on 201-349. 2698 201-349-2698. At this time, I just want to remind us that our weekly church programs continues as scheduled. Digging Deep Bible Studies on Tuesdays from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. on our YouTube channel, RCCG Dominion Cathedral NJ. Early possibility, our teleconference prayer meetings happen every morning from Monday through Saturday from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. And also our prayer clinic holds every Friday, 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. All of these prayer uh, meetings hold on our teleconference line, which is 701-791-9920. 701-791-9920. And as we log on and join in these prayers, the Lord will answer us speedily in Jesus' name. God bless us all.
Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Is that your testimony? I told Satan, get the behind me. Victory today. I want the victors to join me one more time. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind me. Victory today is mine. I want you to damn those two hands together for the Lord Jesus. If you know and you know and you know and you know that victory is yours, shout hallelujah. You will never be a victim. You will never be a victim. At all times, in all situations, you will be a victor in the name of Jesus. Victory means fight. Amen. Victory means battles but god has won the battle for you from henceforth your testimony shall be victory over all turbulences of life victory over all troubles of life victory over all challenges of life victory over sorrow victory over sickness victory over storms whether in the physical or in the spiritual you will have victory Somebody say, I got a victory. Please have your seat. I welcome you online and on site into his presence today. And I declare and decree that your victory is settled in the name of Jesus. We give God all the glory who has watched jealously over us in April 2021. Today is the last Sunday and we return all the glory to God. Please ask me to tell somebody today that all is well with you. Regardless of circumstances, situations or challenges confronting you, no devil can destabilize God's wellness upon you. Amen. Somebody say again, victory is mine. Hallelujah. The Bible says, blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. Line on on side is an indication that you fear God. The God that you fear, he will fight for you. And you will have peace. Somebody here, the Lord is asking me to tell you that from now, he will give you all around peace. The Lord says, peace will tabernacle over you, over your household, over everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, we thank God. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Baby girl to brother Ernest and sister Queen. Baby girl arrived Monday. Last Monday, please call 865 437 Eight four one eight and nine seven three four eight nine four one three five to rejoice with the family. It will soon be your turn to be congratulated. Amen. Uh, to the glory of God, we want to thank God for victory. Please note that recently the hackers have stepped up their game and they are sending all sorts of messages through our phone we want to ask our members on the whatsapp platform to complete the two-step verification on their whatsapp account to secure this account and to avoid being hacked and the lord bless you as you do so in jesus name amen uh, by the special grace of God, we will be training the next set of workers, and it's going to be virtual. Amen. 
So this is an opportunity for many of us to join the service of God. And as you serve God, you will walk behind the scenes of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, by the special grace of God, the women have spoken and they have put the men on edge. Amen. They said the men of Velour has a lot in store for them. The Lord will empower the men to deliver. I'm just reminding you that this is part of the deliverables on Mother's Day. If you are born by a woman, shout hallelujah. Amen. We thank God as we prepare for this year's Mother's Day. The Lord will preserve every one of us in Jesus' name. We celebrate dominion moms, dominion sisters, and dominion women. You are the best. Somebody didn't hear me. I said you are the best. If you have one of them, God bless you. Amen. Let that your hallelujah sink deep. Let it be loud. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that find it. If you have a good thing, shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you. Amen. For always being there. I also want us to know that the New Jersey is now getting ready to give driver's license to undocumented, you know, citizens. It's going to be effective on the 1st of May. I'm going to post it on the notice board. And the Lord will perfect all that concerns us in Jesus' name. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are flying high. Whether the devil likes it or not, he has brought you to this country. And you will survive. You will thrive. God will enlarge you. Shall be well with you. You will prosper in this land. This is God's own land. Come on, put those hands together. I'm going to appreciate God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you are glad to be in the presence of the Lord, why don't you lift up your hands and just shout hallelujah. David said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Psalm 122 verse 1. This is the time where we welcome those who are worshiping with us for the very first time whether you are on site or you are online. If today is your first time here, brethren, just signify by waving your hands to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Please take your bags. There's one other person at the back. Take your bags and Bibles. Come to the seat that's reserved in the front here for you. Praise the Lord. Give Quiet. Way to amid. We, we appreciate your coming. We thank God. mighty name of Jesus. If you don't mind, can you please stand, turn around, and they would like to see your beautiful faces so that when they see you around, they can give you a warm welcome by name in Jesus' name. 
please turn around. Uh, please turn around. We would like to know you, so please tell us your name and who invited you. Oh, thank you. Uh, my name is Michael Odolami, and um, I just moved to New Jersey from New York. So I was googling the RCCG closest to me, so I found this church. So. Google invited him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Esther Abore. The family of Erukanue Christi invited me. Praise the Lord. I'm Karen Jin Bamaru. Mrs. Oceana George invited me. Praise the Lord. We want to welcome you once again. This is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dominion Cathedral, where we dominate over circumstances and situations of life. Your coming here today is not by accident. It is our prayer that you will be blessed mightily as you have come in Jesus' name. The ushers have given you a blue folder. Please fill it out and return it back to them. Our hospitality team would like to meet with you after the service to share more of our love with you. Please have your seat and enjoy the Lord's presence. For those who are worshiping with us online for the first time, please send an email with your contact information to info at rccgdominionnj.org and our welcome team would, meet you, would reach out to you after the service. God bless you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. That is too, that's too cold. Let a living soul shout hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's time to give. But let me tell you, one of the things that push you up in life as a Christian is honor. You keep saying, Bible is telling us, give honor to whom honor is due. Honor your parents. Give honor. So one of the greatest tools that will take you up in life is honor. Let me read this scripture for you to know that you, when you give what you are doing, you are giving honor unto God. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 3. I would like to read it in New Living Translation. Verse 9 and verse 10. Verse 9 said, in New Living, it said, Honor the Lord with your wealth. Is that taking? Honor the Lord with your wealth. And he said, and with the best part of everything you produce. The best part of everything you produce. So every time you come to give unto God, what you are doing, you are giving God honor. You are honoring God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I know somebody here this morning want to give God honor. And you now know when you now do that, verse 10 now say, Then it will fill your barn with grain. And your vat with overflow with good wine. Hallelujah. After meeting the condition, give God honor, there is a blessing that follows. And the blessings in the overflowing dimension is in an overflowing dimension. So this morning, package your tithe and offering as you give honor unto God. Honor God with your wealth. And when we say wealth, your money, praise God. Praise the living Jesus. It's time to give, to give our tithe and offering. You package your tithe. You know, like we had it here sometime that if you see you need calculator to calculate 10% of 1,000, something is wrong. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't need a calculator for that. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So quickly, your tithe and offering as we pray. Amen. You are going to speak to it. You are going to prophesy. One of the major dimensions of prophecy is you, are, you speak to the future. Hallelujah. You proclaim into the future. And God has given you that honor, that privilege. God has put it in charge. Just place it in your hand and speak to your offering. Speak to your tithe this morning. Command it. Send, him, send it an errand. That this morning, as I honor you, it my weight with my tithe, with my offering. Ask God for the blessing in an overflowing dimension in the precious name of Jesus. 
Ask God that God will give you an overflowing measure in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we ask God, even as we give this morning, in return, let it be an overflowing dimension to the praise and glory of your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. So we want to stand on our feet and give with excitement. And if you are watching us online too, you are permitted, you, are, you can be part of this blessing. Just go to our website, www.rccgdominonj.org. Go to the giving icon and click there. You give or you come to church. The church is open every Tuesday from Tuesday to Saturday between 12 and 6 p.m. Hallelujah. You can walk in and drop your hair. And equally, you can mail it to the church. God bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. Let's be on our feet as we give with excitement, with rejoicing. As quite a gift for the song. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan to God behind me. The victory today is mine. Victory is mine. together for Jesus. Give God praise. You are the only one that will shout hallelujah if you have not given your tithe and offering. If the usher have not got it to you, in this congregation, shout hallelujah. May God bless you, usher. Thank you so very much. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise for this great privilege this morning to give. To give our tithes and our offering. We have come to honor you, O God, with our wealth. And you promise that you will give an overflowing blessing 
Lord Jehovah, even as we have done this this morning, let there be an overflowing blessing to every life and giver this morning in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We speak blessing into our life, blessing of victory over every challenge and battle of life. We speak the blessing of breakthrough in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Glory be to your name, O God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And the church will shout, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. This morning, I have the great privilege and honor to invite onto the podium to minister to us. He's a vision driver of the redeemed Christian of God, Domino Cathedral. It is a blessing to have them. And I know this morning, your life will not remain the same. I would like you to just bow down your heart, close your eyes, and just pray that Lord minister to me this morning through this, this drama. Touch my life. Speak to God. God, this morning, do great things in my life. In the prayer. Are you praying? As you invite them, just speak to God. What exactly you want God to do? Somebody blessing might be through this drama this morning. Just ask God, God, meet me. Bless me in the precious name of Jesus. What is going on here? What's the problem? What do you need? What do you need? You need food. What do you need? You need water. Please, go and bring food. Go and bring water. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The food and the water is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Just calm down. The, the food and the water are coming. Please hurry up, hurry up. Serve them, serve them. Serve them. Give them the water. Thank you. Eat, eat. Just eat. Eat. Eat, eat, eat. You are welcome. What is going on here? Ah, you asked me for food. You asked me for food. Is this no food? You asked me for water. Please, get these ungrateful people out of this place. Get them out of here. What is this? There are many more people out there that will take this food gladly and eat it. Very ungrateful people. And you, you asked me for grace. I gave it to you. And you are wasting that grace. You are misusing that grace. You cannot continue in sin and expect that grace to abound. God forbid. The time of reckoning is coming. The judgment day is fast approaching. And I'll be right back.
Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Vision Drama Group. God bless you. We're going to be taking our congregational hymn. And we're going to be singing while standing. Let's open up to our evil letting. It's right in the evil letting. You raise me up so I can stand on mountain. Church, let's rise as we take our congregational hymn. you can be how do you see yourself we are strong when we are on his shoulders yes Lord thank you Lord no power of hell No scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. He in the path of Christ I stand on Christ the solid rock I stand
Father, here we are before you. We want to thank you for the victory that has been given to us via the cross of Calvary. The victory has been won. And we want to thank you because this victory you have a portion for us this season will not elude us by our mindset. In the name of Jesus, I surrender myself to you. I have no word of my own. But I hand over. Here are your people. As their faces are different, so are their mindsets. But I ask, Lord, that you do a reconstructive work. Lord, that the mindset of victory that you have given to them moving forward will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take over. Let it be all about you. I have nothing to say, but I ask that you take over. I hand myself over to you. Speak through me. And do that that you have destined to do in the life of my brother and my sister in the service. And take all the glory at the end. And let the blessings be our portion. In Jesus' mighty name, we have declared. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! Let the victorious people shout, Hallelujah! Please have your seat. God bless you. I want to take this moment and just appreciate our mother in the Lord. Thank you so much, ma, for this privilege. I do not take it for granted. Thank you. And I know you are praying for me. <laughs> because God will speak to his people by himself. Thank you, Lord. Us in the next 20 minutes is the victorious mindset. This month, we've been talking about victory, victory, victory without a fight, victory financially, victory all around. But if our mindset is not right, it may just be one of those months, it will come and go. What does victory mean? When we demonstrate victory, we say winning. Victory is to win, to be triumphant, to conquer. And a mindset is our mental attitude, the sum total of our belief system. It does not matter how much they put out there. If your mindset is not right, you cannot get it. There's how we are supposed to think to be able to get that victory that God has given to us in this season. By the way, the victory has already been won. The victory has been given to us. That was the purpose why Jesus came. He conquered death and gave us victory. We sing Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. What do you respond? Victory, victory, hallelujah. So the victory has already been won. But why is it that some are not victorious? Why is it that the victory that has been won is not seen, is not reflected? Because our mindset can stop us from manifesting that victory. The Bible says, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So meaning, you can think in a certain way and not get the victory. We are all seated here. We have our different backgrounds, different upbringings. And in the process of our growing up, a mindset has been created. Some mindset says, no, you don't give. You cannot give tight. Because others will give. Oh, you can only give a certain amount of tight. 
You can give your net. You shouldn't give your gross. It's a mindset. A mindset of a failure. It does not matter what they preach. Fear. You know, kind of takes our mindset from victory because we are living in fear. We can't come out of the house because we have forgotten what God has said concerning us. You cannot rise above the level of your mindset. That is clear. How can we develop this mindset? We have to know that for every man to be successful, anybody that you think is successful in your own way, there's a mindset. The mindset of a businessman is different from a mindset of a non-businessman. And that is how you see the success based on the mindset of an individual. We come to church every Sunday. What is your mindset? What mindset do you have? Do you see it like you come to church just to add to the number? Or you are here to be blessed. You are here to receive from God. Because when you come without an expectation, you will not receive anything. In this place, we boast about our expectations becoming a manifestation. It's a mindset. Because when you come expecting, what will happen? You will receive. A healthy mindset is not by laying on of hands. So it's not by impartation. Somebody has to do something. There is a work that has to be done. It is a conscious effort. It's a deliberate attitude. You put up there to say, I am not a failure. I am a winner. It does not matter what the challenges are staring at you in the face, what you go through every day. There's a mindset you will have to say, no, what the world is saying is not me. Because I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Who are you? Ask yourself, who am I? Because we're talking of victory. If you don't know who you are, you cannot get this victory. Because when God is telling you to do some certain things, because you are afraid... Because you have forgotten who you are, you will not be able to take that step to get that victory. It's okay to be born again. But when you are born again, do you remain the way you are? We have cases in the Bible. An example is David. David was faced with Goliath. Goliath comes out every day to defile the army of God. And what happened? Everybody, they were running back. Why? Because of his size. He was terrorizing them. And this little David came. In fact, he was not supposed to be there at that time. But he showed up because God wanted to push him forward to Get him to that place that he has already ordained for him. And Goliath said, who is this little rat? He qualified him however he wanted because to him, he was big and he thought it was because of his size. It's not by size. The Bible says it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit of God. And when Goliath continued to defile the army of God. And David answered him. He said, come to me this day. I will give your flesh. This day the Lord will deliver thee into my hand. I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day to the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Do you know that that challenge that you are going through 
is that somebody will know that there is a God in you. Don't withdraw. It does not matter how it looks, how the situation may be looking. The confusion. Don't give in to fear because I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. Are you a child of God? What will you boast about? Will you run behind and be crying and be hiding your head? David did not fear. Goliath was big, yes. But he knew the God he was carrying. I'm walking in power. I'm walking miracles. I live a life of favor. David did not retreat. He ran to him, took his stones, and threw it at him. And because that stone was anointed, Goliath fell flat. Every Goliath in your life is meant to go down. Goliath is not meant to stand. Goliath is meant to go down. And if he went down, it must go down in your life. Don't back out. What mindset do you have? Oh, why me? Why me? Why not you? Because God wants to do a new thing. He has not brought you this far to leave you. So why will I withdraw? Why will I be afraid? It does not matter what your background is. The thing that matters is the God that is in you. The Bible says it is he that liveth in you that walketh to do of his good pleasure. You carry God inside of you. Don't be afraid of the ten thousands of people that gather themselves together against you. Because they are meant to go down. The three Hebrew boys story we read. Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> the greatest bully. He said if they don't bow, then the next thing is that they will be in that fire. The fire was heated up. But they didn't back. They didn't bother. They said, well, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. We will not bow. How are you bowing? Situations are staring at us. Every day we go in and out, we come back. Things are happening. Trust me, I know things are happening. But what is your mindset? Is it to give in or to Stand and see the salvation of your God. They didn't withdraw. And because they did not, God honored their faith. And the fat man in the fire showed up. You see that situation that you are in? The fat man is right there by you. Just waiting for you to proclaim it. With that mindset, don't try to figure it out. Oh, that's how it happened to the other sister the other day. Oh, that's how it happened. And so what? That is that sister. You are a new creation. Because it happened to that brother, that sister, it doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. What is your mindset when things challenge you, when situations happen? What is the mindset that you carry? Do you believe in this God that we talk about? The one that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever ask or imagine? Or you are afraid? What mindset are you sitting here with? We're talking of victory. Victory. Are you victorious or you have been defeated? Your mindset. If every man be a liar, God cannot lie. The children of Israel, they were in Egypt for 40 years. While they were there, what happened? They developed a mindset. Like you growing up. You grew up with a mindset. It's either a mindset from an idolatrous family 
or a, you know, different mindsets. What is your own family mindset? What mindset did you grow up from? With. A time came. God has already given them the land of Canaan. That land was already a given. Moses told them. He picked 12 spies to go and check that land out. They went and they came back. Some people came with a good report and others came with a negative report. Joshua and Caleb said, let's go ahead and take this land. What are we waiting for? The other said, no. Hey, the people in that land, the men in that land, they are giants. Hey, the fruits are good, though. The grapes, the pomegranate, they are beautiful. They are sweet. We even came with some of it. But we cannot. They said we cannot. All the promises. Remember, God has promised to give them that land. But their mindset was in the way to possess that land. Whose report will you believe? Is it the report that you cannot make it? Is it the report that you cannot get to a certain age? Is it the report that you cannot succeed? What report are you carrying? I will believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? His report says, I am free. His report says, I am healed. His report says, victory. That's the report of the Lord. What report are you leaving this place with? Or what report did you come with? I pray that God will give you the grace to change your mindset. That the victory will be yours in the name of Jesus. There are so many reports going on. Our Lord Jesus Christ, while he was here on earth, he had a mindset. And that mindset helped him in the way he dealt with people. The way he handled things that even the Pharisees were surprised. Because when they threw things at him, the way he responded, it baffled them. Like when they set trap for him, like when they sat and said, bow down to me and I will give you the kingdoms of the earth. He already had a mindset because he's God himself. How can he give in? How can he bow down to Satan? What mindset we carry tells how far we will go in life. He tells the kind of things that we will get. He tells the kind of victory that we will receive. But I want to let you know that God has already won the victory. Esther, in the book of Esther, said, if I perish, I perish. If Esther did not make up her mind, they would have been wiped out. Haman would have succeeded. Haman would have cleared them just by a single letter. Mordecai sent to tell Esther, don't think that you'll be exempted. You may think, oh, I'm in the palace. No. She, she stood up and said, go gather your people fast for me three days. If I perish, I perish. Did she perish? She did not perish. So what makes you think that when you stand for God, you're going to fail? What makes you think that when you stand with God, you're going to fail? Nobody has stood with God and has failed. Every word that God has said, every word that God has released from this altar must come to pass. Why? Because with God, all things are possible. When it is your time, your victory will be in your hand, but your mindset can stop it. Your mindset can be in the way. What mindset are you carrying? I want you to begin to think. Those challenges that you have, is it as a result of your mindset? For without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
There are hindrances. Past experiences. Oh, I tried it before. It did not work. That's why I don't want to try again. Your mindset. Unanswered prayers. Who told you the prayers will not be answered? Your mindset. Delays. Ungodly friends. Impatient sometimes. We want it now, now, now. Canal mindedness. How can we develop this mindset? If you have given your life to Christ, like I said, it is not, oh, I've given my life to Christ, so I'm victorious. You have a work to do. You have a part to play. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Who being, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. It's his mindset. He is God by himself. He has an assignment that has been given to him. This Jesus we are talking about, if he did not win, will not be sitting here today. Because he carried the mindset of God. For you to live this mindset... You must know who God is. You have an intimate relationship with him. Your quiet time, your Bible study, your devotion with God has to be close. You must daily renew your mind. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. You say, and be not conformed. Be not conformed to this world. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How will you renew your mind when you don't know where your Bible is? You pick up your Bible only on Sunday. For us to continuously have a mindset of victory... We must daily meet with God in the place of prayer, in the place of fellowship, in the place of the word. We must have a time we seek him. We have busy, crazy schedules. But we have a part to play in forming this mindset of a victor. We are not meant to be victims in this journey of life. We are victorious people. We are not victims. That is why we have to daily meet with God in his word because that is where our mind is renewed with his word. What is your value system? Is it that of the kingdom or that of men? God cannot fail. He has never failed. And let me know, let you know, in your own case, he will not fail. Concerning you, he will not fail. But you have a part to play. You have to get that mindset of God. You have to get that mindset of a victor and not a victim. You have to tell yourself, I know who I believe and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that that has been committed to his charge. We have to live by faith and not by sight. Because what God cannot do does not exist. This morning, where are you in your mindset? Do you believe that God has given you victory? What is that thing that you, you're believing God for that you think is taking a while to come to pass? But what mindset do you have though? Do you believe God that he can do it? Or you are either here or there. Today, I believe 
Tomorrow you try to help yourself. How are you helping yourself and how far have you been able to help yourself? God wants us to have a mindset of victory. A mindset of increase. A mindset of grace. A mindset of glory. Going God's direction without swaying, without looking to the left or to the right. Following God, it may look stupid with man. But follow him through. We must refuse to dwell on the challenges that we see. We must choose to have a firm resolution on what God has promised us. Because he is too faithful to fail. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. What God has said he will do, he will do. And I leave you with the word in the book of Philippians. Do not give any room to the devil. But whatsoever is just, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is of a good report, think on those things. Hallelujah. And the God of peace will keep your heart and your mind in his perfect peace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord. Think on these things. Life is about thoughts. Your thoughts becomes your life. Life is a product of many unspoken thoughts. God thought and spoke and the earth came to be. Creation story is about thoughts. It will unfold your future. Today, God wants you to reprogram and reset your thoughts. We've had it. Beautiful message. You cannot rise above the level of your mindset. If you think you're a chicken, you'll be operating like a chicken. Yes, I've seen people. Some people think they can never get out of poverty and they are still in poverty. What's your thought? Your thought is your life. If you think the enemy is going to bombard you, oh, he will fry you like pepper. Yes. It's your thought. But if you think that no devil, if you think that the devil is not born, that is going to destabilize your thoughts, they will come. Let me tell you the truth. The first attack is thoughts. They speak to you. Have you. Do you know that there are some people they speak to and they become crazy? It's all about thoughts. Who is speaking to you? What are they speaking to you? Are you evaluating what they are speaking to you? Is it to destroy you and to confuse you and to confound you? Examine those talks. People who are talking to you. There are some people as I'm speaking, you need to delete them from your contact. Because every time they come, they're always speaking negative. Hallelujah! And the Bible says that greater is he that is in you. I carry the king of glory inside of me. I carry God. I carry Jesus. I carry his spirit. There is no room for the devil in my life, in my thoughts, in my ways. As a man thinketh, so if you think you are meant to be crushed by the devil, that's what he does. 
and may I close by letting you know that the strategy of the devil has never changed. It's in John chapter 10 verse 10. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Who oh, is speaking to you and, and after they spoke to you, you have no more joy. You have no more peace. It's time to press the delete button. Bam! Because they are agents of the devil. Devil doesn't come down. Hallelujah. Devil doesn't fly in aircraft. Devil just speak. Hallelujah. His strategy is to discourage, confuse you. Destroy your mindset. Because when the devil is has destroyed your mindset, he can manipulate you anyhow. Yes. You wonder what's happening? It is a manipulation of the devil. Go and do this. Go and kill. Gossip. Carry story. Pest nonsense. Do you know how many have been, have, have been crushed by evil report? That pastor is no good. That's the report they are carrying about. Because they are agents of devil. Running! What? The unprofitable assignment of the devil. No wonder if hospital 5, 8 says, be sober. Are you sober? Be vigilant. Because who? Your adversary. The devil is an adversary. And he has not changed his position. The devil, as a running what? He's a running lion. He's not a lion. He's not a lion. So when the devil is speaking, you must tell the devil to shut up. The Bible says he walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You will not be his candidate. I said one more time, you will not be his candidate. Receive grace to rise above your thoughts. Receive grace to overcome the scheme of the devil. The devil has schemes. We are closing with this verse in Isaiah chapter 3. Verse 10 to 11. And I want all of us to read it together. This is God's word. As you move to the remaining of 2021. The God, word of God says unto you. Go to verse 10. It says, say ye. To the who? Righteous. God is talking to you. That what? It shall be well. Well with. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your job. It shall be well with your husband. Your family. Your children. For they shall what? Eat the fruit of their doings. Your doings is a seed. So people who are doing evil. It's just a matter of time. God is going to crush them. You think you are doing good? You are doing evil? Be careful. Because you are sowing seed into your life, into your future. Nobody may see you. God sees you. 11. Let's go. Woe unto the what? Wicked. The wicked can never make it in life. That's the truth. It's not me. The Bible says what? Woe to the wicked. For it shall be what? Heal with him for the reward of his hands. Rise up on your feet and talk to God. Lord, I want to reprogram my mindset. You have already given me the mindset of a winner. The word of God says, Say ye unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. I want you to begin to claim that benefit is a vantage point that God has put you. The devil has no business in your affair. And when he comes, you crush him. The Bible says, I give unto you power to thread upon serpents and upon scorpions, upon, up, upon bad reporters, upon conspirators, upon enemies. You will possess the gates of your enemy. That's the word of God. I want you to talk to God. You are a winner. You are not a loser. In the game of life, it is not run by feelings. It is run by the Holy Spirit inside of you. Leading you. Empowering you from inside. 
you carry Jesus. The devil have no room in your life. Lord, I want to thank you for your daughter that you have used powerfully to bring the word of God. I pray that you will replenish her. That her mind will never be weak. The Bible says my grace is sufficient for thee. I pray that grace that is sufficient will find you. It will help you in this journey of life. The Bible says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. We are talking about a man of victory. I say receive victorious mindset in the name of Jesus. Bible says but thanks be to God which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are here today celebrating that victory. I decree that this victory that God has given us will be permanent in your lives. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will raise you up to a new level of victorious living. In the name of Jesus, God has packaged and programmed you for victory. You will not operate below that level. In the name of Jesus, you are packaged to walk upon stormy seas. You are packaged to work upon challenges of life. No wonder the Bible says you are more than conquerors. No more shall any scheme of man or any satanic conspiracy destabilize your mindset again in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your name. I want you to bow down your heads. The almighty God has already programmed you. You cannot operate with a victorious mindset without Christ in the bottom of your life. You are here today and you want to say, Jesus, I don't want to live a timid life again. I don't want to live a life of defeat again. I want to walk in the victory that you have already given me. Wherever you are, begin to lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand, wave it to him. Because God is doing something. He's touching you right now. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. You are that person. From now, you will pray from a vantage position. And if you are online, send us an email to let us know the decision you have taken today. And I decree that as many as have surrendered their life to Christ. As many as have invited Jesus into the boat of their life, he will guide you. He will help you. He will perfect all that concerns you. No more shall you operate as a loser, but a winner. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. This is... Um, we have three times giving lined up in this service. And the first one is Sister Adebinkwe Ogenezue, 48th birthday, Thanksgiving. Our sister, Sister Adebinkwe Ogenezue, turned 40. And she's here in the church today to thank God. Remember for his, of his family and well wishers. For what the Lord done, has done in 40 solid years. May I request that our sister and the family and well wishers dance to the altar for the 48th birthday Thanksgiving. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows. Joy overflows, joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Oh, how we praise the name. Hey, how we worship you. Glory, hallelujah. Sing a new song to the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. 
Congratulations, ma. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven will bless your name. We lift your eye, we adore you. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day. On behalf of your daughter, we say thank you. 40 solid years. If what the wish of the enemy, your daughter will never be able to clock this year. But because you are God in her life, but because you are faithful, but because you are a loving God, you kept us safe. There are many testimonies we ask her to begin to give testimony from now to the end of today. I know she will never finish. Because there are many glorious things you have done in her life. Lord, we have come to return back all the glory. We say receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for our family. Thank you, Father, for blessing our children. Thank you for blessing her with a wonderful husband. Thank you for the work of our hand. Thank you for your grace upon our life. Thank you for the opportunity to know you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, you brought her into this age. Lord, we pray that you will take her through it in the name of Jesus. We pray, everlasting Father, that you will grant our long headed years in the mighty name of Jesus. The remaining part of your year, you will not spend it in sickness. In the mighty name of Jesus. The victory that have been fought and won in Calvary will be your portion forever in the mighty name of Jesus. From glory unto glory, from testimonies unto testimony, so shall it be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason of this celebration, doors of opportunities are open for you. Doors of earth are open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. And so we proclaim and we pronounce upon you. Upon your life, it is well with you. Upon your family, it is well. Upon your children, it is well. In the mighty name of Jesus. If the coming of the Lord tarry, you will celebrate 50, 60 you will celebrate, 80 you will celebrate, 100 you will celebrate, and you will still ask for more over time. And so shall it be in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and that of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah one. Alleluia 2 Alleluia 3 Alleluia 4 Alleluia 5 Alleluia 6 Alleluia 7 Alleluia 8 Alleluia 9 Alleluia 10 Alleluia 11 Alleluia 12 Alleluia 13 Alleluia 14 Hallelujah 15, Hallelujah 16, Hallelujah 17, Hallelujah 18, Hallelujah 19, 
Hallelujah, Terry. Hallelujah, Terry. One. Hallelujah, Terry. Two. Hallelujah, Terry. Three. Hallelujah, Terry. Four. Hallelujah, Terry. Five. Hallelujah, Terry. Six. Hallelujah, Terry. Seven. Hallelujah, Terry. Eight. Hallelujah, Terry. Nine. Hallelujah, Terry. Hallelujah, Terry. One. Hallelujah, Terry. Two. Hallelujah, Terry. Three. Hallelujah, Terry. Four. Hallelujah, Terry. Five. Hallelujah, Terry. Six. Hallelujah, Terry. Seven. Hallelujah, Terry. Eight. Hallelujah, Terry. Nine. Hallelujah, Forty. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations. Next Thanksgiving, birthday Thanksgiving, uh, also in the course of the month, Elder Dr. Evelyn Akombi turned 60. And she here, she's here in the church today with the family, gorgeously dressed, looking good at 60, and <laughs> beside her husband. <laughs> May I request that you dance to, that you go to the back of the aisle and dance forward for this 68th birthday Thanksgiving. Also, following them is their daughter. Thanksgiving for healing. Stephanie was involved in an accident, a fatal motor accident. And to the glory of God, She's here today on her feet, giving glory to the Almighty God. Look at the pictures. The pictures here will tell you what actually happened. But to the glory of God, our daughter is back to life, and she's on her feet, and she has come to give glory to the Almighty God. Let's dance forward with the family and well wishers. The Lord bless you. Great are you, Lord, the universe declares your majesty. Oh, 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 oh. 
Pretty good, yes. For help, for healing. the Lord. Congratulations. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. The author of life, we celebrate your faithfulness over this family. We are here today thanking you for all you have done. First, you healed your daughter from the impact of a ghastly motor accident that wanted to incapacitate her life. You proved yourself as the great physician. You moved. And you touched her. You alter every negative medical report. Here she is. Before the throne of grace. Thank you for grace that we received. Because the same thing happened to others. And they are no more. But this is not our case. Over Stephanie, I can be take all the glory. Most importantly, we are thanking you for your daughter that you have empowered to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee milestone. What a privilege! The Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning and great is thy faithfulness. Over your daughter, you have been faithful for the past 60 years. 60 years of diverse happenings. 60 years of diverse battles. 60 years of diverse occurrences. Yet, you have kept her through the thick, through the thin. You have preserved her life. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for her husband. Thank you for all her children. Thank you for friends and families celebrating with her today. I pray that the Lord will keep you. The Lord will multiply many more years unto you. The Lord that you know and you have served, he will reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus. The rest of your life will be the best of your life. You will never know a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus. As you are counting years, your years will count. In the name of Jesus. You will not babysit sickness and weakness. In the name of Jesus. Most importantly, I pray that the Almighty God will give you birthday blessings. Birthday rewards. In the name of Jesus. Begin to enjoy unusual strength. 
as you grow in age, you will grow in grace. In the name of Jesus, the remaining of your days will be sweet. In the name of Jesus, I decree over your life that the best lies ahead of you. The best lies ahead of you. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Hallelujah one. Hallelujah two. Hallelujah three. Hallelujah four. Hallelujah five. Hallelujah six. Hallelujah seven. Hallelujah eight. Hallelujah nine. Hallelujah ten. Hallelujah eleven. Hallelujah 13. Hallelujah 15. Hallelujah 16. Hallelujah 17. Hallelujah 19. Hallelujah 20. Hallelujah 22. Hallelujah 23. 24. Hallelujah 25. Hallelujah 26. Hallelujah 27. 28. Hallelujah. 29. Hallelujah. 30. Hallelujah. 31. Hallelujah. 32. Hallelujah. 33. Hallelujah. 34. Hallelujah. 35. Hallelujah. 36. Hallelujah. 37. Hallelujah. 38. Hallelujah. 39. Hallelujah. 40. Hallelujah. 41. Hallelujah. 42. Hallelujah. 43. Hallelujah 44, Hallelujah 45, Hallelujah 46, Hallelujah 47, 48, Hallelujah 49, Hallelujah 50, Hallelujah 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, Hallelujah 56, Hallelujah 57, Hallelujah 58, Hallelujah 60. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you, mommy. May the good Lord bless Hip, hip, hip. Congratulations, ma. Many happy returns. Praise the name of the Lord. Finally, recently, we announced the homegoing of Reverend Olufunke Ajala, the mother of our brother, Brother Adiulu Ajala, the man that put us to the exercise here every third Sunday. The mother went to be with the Lord. He traveled home, and uh, God took him home safely to bury the mother, and he came back safely. He's here today with the family to give glory to the Almighty God that he went home safely to bury the mom. May I request that uh, the family, Dr. Adiola Jalan, the family dance forward for the memorial thanksgiving of his mother. Choir.
mother to the motherless, the father to the fatherless, the helper of the helpless. We say, You are worthy, oh Lord, invisible God. Father and our God, we celebrate you again. The creator, the one who owns the earth and everything that is in it. Thank you for the call to glory of your daughter and your servant, Reverend. Unufunke Ajala, who, while she was here, displayed commitment and faithfulness to God in every ramification of her life. The testimony of her life lives on. Lord, we thank you for the success of the final barrier. The Bible says, and we know, that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of a saint. Thank you, because we know that she's now a saint in glory. And now I pray for the family that she has left behind. I pray for the husband and the children and the grandchildren that she left behind. That the good Lord will watch jealously over you. I pray that the good Lord that your mother served will stand as a pillar behind you. In the name of Jesus, most importantly, we are so thankful that you enabled your son to travel home for the final burial rites. And you brought him back safely to his family. This is marvelous in our eyes. And we thank you for safety and protection. Moving forward, I pray that the Lord will wipe away all tears from your eyes. And God will grant you sweet memories of your dear mother. Keep them in your love and watch jealously over them. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord.
beautiful thing has uh, an ending and we are bringing this glorious service to a close before we do so we want to please again welcome all those who are worshiping for the first time here in dominion cathedral please you will go are you there in the congregation today is your first time here can we see your hands up you are there hallelujah i mean uh, maybe it's one or two people may have come after these uh, glory great people but now you can be up on your feet and go with our hospitality team they are going to show you a bit of our hospitality and also if you have questions concerning our services you can ask them god bless you as you go in jesus name amen praise the name of the lord please let's be upstanding as we bring the service to a close just lift up your hands and bless the lord thank him for making you a partaker of this wonderful service just say father i thank you for bringing me and for blessing me thank you king of glory because from today my mindset has already been reset and i'm going to begin to walk in victory and begin to access the victory you have already won for me thank you faithful god blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed amen let's share the grace in fellowship now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen let's share, uh, read the motto prophetically one two go this is my year of elevation god will restore me daily god's power and presence will overshadow me this year god will attend specially to all my needs this year this year i will have peace and rest on every side help and help us of my destiny from the four corners of the world shall locate me this year will be tension free sickness free crisis free debt free covid 19 free bondage free struggle free failure free affliction free pain and discomfort free for me god will shield me from all strange diseases i decree that this year will be pleasant for me and my family this year i will recover all past losses and experience uncommon promotion in every area of my life i will not derail diminish or dwindle i will grow from strength to strength and from victory to victory i decree that this year everyone fighting against me will fall down for me to rise every unrepentant enemy against my life will suffer permanent damage calamity and irreversible defeat no matter how much the enemy tries they will not overcome me this year my divine inheritance of peace and joy shall not be compromised i reject physical spiritual and financial embarrassment this year according to job 8 22 those that hate me shall be clothed with shame the power of god will silence every opposition against my life the everlasting hands will surely carry me through this year i will not die prematurely i will experience all year all around restoration and wellness it is well with me amen please turn to somebody and tell the person it is well with you and it shall be so in jesus name amen go in the power of the most high god and be victorious in jesus name amen
Oyikwada, 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 O Baba. Alleluia, Sio Baba. Alleluia, Sio Mo. A lot of people don't know this, but the best way to make money But you are the unchangeable changer 